Hi everyone, it's Akila. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and this is my first video of the new year. I mention this a lot, but I normally take a break in the beginning of the year just because from Halloween to Christmas, I am working overtime. So I really value my break so I don't end up burning out. But with that being said, I'm so happy to be back. Like, I hope you guys are having a great new year so far. And if not, I really hope it gets better. But I will be posting my first role play of the year next Saturday. It's looking like I'm probably going to be uploading mostly on weekends. But during like your school breaks and stuff, I will try to upload a bit more. I did a lot of thinking over my break and I just really want to make sure I get the best content possible out for you guys. I've been working on a lot of builds and I have a very long list of video ideas. So if you want to add on to that list, make sure to comment down below. I would love to hear what you guys want to see this year. I'm feeling so hopeful and so happy. But I thought I would just start off the new year by giving you guys the layout to the role play house because I've had my time to enjoy it and I think I'm ready to give you guys the blueprint. As always, if you do decide to rebuild this house for content purposes, I would appreciate it if you give credits in your description or in your video but i mean at this point the girls who give credit give credit and the girls who don't don't i feel like my builds are pretty recognizable so if you try to claim this as your own i'm pretty sure you'll get found out for the unfurnished version of my roleplay house layout which is what you'll be getting today you'll roughly need about 50k it's always so weird seeing the house like this it looks a lot smaller than it actually is, but I promise you this house is really big. So this is what the downstairs looks like. I already went ahead and placed down the pillars, stairs, fences, and the floor just so everything's easier to see. So when you're rebuilding this, if you are rebuilding it, do not forget to place down your pillars. That is very, very important. So this is the full first floor layout and this is the second floor layout. There are some areas that are just completely pink like this one and this one and a couple downstairs like these areas right here. And these are just gonna be spacers. But as I'm placing the walls down, I will go ahead and tell you which room is which and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and start that. Of course, we are gonna start right here. So this is the front door and we'll, we'll go to the right. So this is the entryway with the staircase. Don't forget to separate your walls. We have my office in the series, then this, right here is the laundry room so there's that this is the little hallway like mud room area so let's close this off right here and we'll come back to it but this is the garage okay that looks really good so far and let's continue the mud room and then going up here this is the pantry one of the downstairs restrooms and then this entire area is the dining room and the kitchen fill in this spacer right here and let's close this all in and we have the entire right side of the downstairs completed so now let's continue over here so this is the living room on the left side of the entryway, this is the kids' playroom. And there's a closet inside. So there's that. And this is another spacer. This is a hallway, so it connects to the living room. And the hallway leads you to another restroom, a walk-in closet, which is pretty cool. And the last area is the spacer and the downstairs bedroom. So once again, this is what the first floor looks like. And then if we go upstairs, once again, let's start here above the wall where the front door is. And we'll go from the left this time. So this is one of the bedrooms. This is Leo's bedroom in the series. 
All of the upstairs bedrooms all have closets in them. So then here we go. And we have a fence right here so you can look over the entryway. But you can add a wall if you would like to do that instead. Now this entire section is another spacer. This is the upstairs restroom. We have the gym, which we haven't really seen too much of, actually. Uh, this is the wall to the end of the hallway on this side. And then on this wall, we'll have a door that leads to Leah's bedroom. And then this is her closet right here. Okay, looking good, looking good so far. And this is Livia's bedroom right next to Leah's. That's her closet. And then this is the rest of her room. I actually forgot to break this up. So let's do that. And then another little spacer, the end of the hallway on this side. And then the last bedroom in the house, which is Grandma Annie's. And there you have it. Once again, this is the second story and this is the first story. Now what I'm gonna be doing is adding in all of the windows and the doors. So here are the placements for all of the doors and the door frames that are downstairs. And here's the placement for the doors that are upstairs. Okay, so I went ahead and I also added the windows and there are a lot of windows. Let me tell you, but the lighting in this house is always really good. Here's the bird's eye view of the second floor. And then here is the first floor. And now's the time where you can go ahead and add the wall trim to your interior. Add the wall trim to the top as well as the bottom. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna save myself some time because I already have the pink fence for the layout of this house. Um, but yeah, be sure to do that. I will probably add wall trim to the exterior, but before I do that, I'm going to add the roof so I know where the wall trim is going. So the roof for this house, let's change. We're gonna change our grid size to the smallest one. And we're gonna start off with the only roof that I ever use. And this is the gable roof. We are gonna be using the slanted roof too, but this is my go-to. I love this roof. and we can change the height of it and the thickness. And I think that looks pretty good. Now we're gonna continue using the same roof over here. Except this time I'm gonna lower it. And now we're gonna place this roof downstairs. So it's gonna go on this entire section. just like that and we can raise it up a little bit uh we are also going to put this roof on the garage and this time we will have the roof intersect with the garage portion but we're gonna lower it as much as we can there we go that is where the gable roof will be placed now let's go back around and we're going to use the slanted roof like I mentioned before. So here we go. It's going to cover the entire deck like this and we are going to lower it. You might have to adjust your windows, but everything is lining up perfectly for me. And we're going to extend it a little bit and also again change this part. Okay, and... Obviously, this is the last uncovered part, so let's go ahead and fill that in too. And this is how the roof should look in the end. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm going around and placing the wall trim on certain areas. This is why it's really important to break up your walls while you're building. I don't really know how to explain this well, but I only place this down where we don't have the triangular part of the gable roof. I hope that makes sense. If not, you should be able to kind of follow along. Okay, this looks really good, but the last thing I have to do is color everything. And this is my unfurnished Bloxburg Role Playhouse layout. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and if you want to see what this house looks like fully decorated my way, make sure you check out my house tour that I posted a while ago. And do not forget to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Once you are subscribed, click the bell button so you get notified whenever I post a video. And if you would like to see an extra video from me today, make sure to check out Aquila Sims World. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! I won't make it easy for you now You got two minutes of my time